Lots of ums today. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's gonna be. We're gonna be going up the hill, and I'm gonna be like, um, this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I got to sleep in my own bed last night. I'm only 40 minutes from here, so that's always nice. And I remember I woke up and heard the thunder around 4 a.m. and I smiled and I rolled over and I went back to sleep and I slept like a baby. soaked and used like all my tear offs in about three miles and then got in front um those two girls like overshot a turn and i was able to get past and yeah the sportsman a guy caught me from the second round i just tagged along with him for a couple laps got past him and then it was just on my own <laughs> yeah, it's fun the track actually got better as the race went on which i was surprised the slipperiest part of the whole track was like the last mile. Momentum is your friend! <laughs> and watch out for trees! Feeling? Oh yeah, not too bad. Some allergies, but... Oh, no. Hey, that's... What happens when you get old? Oh, you're not old. <laughs> you're not there yet. <laughs> hey, McGill did good yesterday, right? He did. We had a, We were talking. He said. He said he was old too. So maybe we can. Maybe we can pull a McGill today. Look good. Feel good. Kind of in some loamy dirt. A little more rain than I think anyone would like, but I think when part of the track's muddy, then the majority of it is good. So, being optimistic. Hopefully, we have some good loamy dirt, some ruts, and yeah, just go out there and have some fun. I would have much rather race on quad day here and at Georgia. I think the mechanics agree. I think that all the teams agree, except riders that just really love a mess. So you're telling me you want to be a quad rider? I want to be a quad rider. I mean, honestly, like, watching Adam McGill, I think I can run his pace. 
I think it's still good. I think so. Uh, I mean, that's a second place guy now, right? <laughs> Done. And hey, yo, yo, yo. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. Feel good. Yeah. It's kind of a crap, crap show out there, but we'll. Uh, Really generous with. Yeah, I was trying to trying to keep it PG. I don't. I'd be a quad rider. I don't know if I could go that well. I don't know. It's a Quads, yeah. I hate them things. Just to avoid some mud. I'm thinking I just at this point just let it rain. Hang out here for a second. We do. I'd rather just keep raining. Huh. Difficult. A scale of one to ten. How excited are you today? A thousand. A thousand. Yeah. Okay. I just want to start. it. And race. So we will see what happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's pretty good, but by God, this is the home of the Ironman GNCC, the Hoosier GNCC. It's May in the state of Indiana. So I'm going to ask you one more time are you ready to go, GNCC racer? And we're off with row number one. And as our riders jockey for position through turn number one, it's the Magda One Motorsports Husqvarna of Jordan Ashburn grabbing the whole shirt. Six rounds of racing, six different winners, and getting it done here at the Hoosier GNCC will be Johnny Gerard.
fuck. <laughs> oh my god. How's it feel? Oh, that was well overdue. I got buried twice, three laps to go. I had to get people to help me get my bike out. I thought the race was over. I just never gave up. Never stopped charging. Well overdue. So good. Thank you. You look like that. Yeah. yeah. Felt so good. Yeah. So good. That was gnarly. That was gnarly. No. Not gnarlier than Georgia. It was really? physically demanding. That was brutal. That hurt. You had to dig deep. Man, I was like, I heard him say two and a half hours. There is no way in hell that was a two hour and 31 minute race. No shot. Zero percent. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I led for two and a half hours. There's no way. I knew it was two and a half hours, so I gave her hell, but. Woo! There ain't no way that we, there ain't no way that was two thirty. Pretty much, I re I led the whole thing. We were just riding and uh, made a couple mistakes here and there. It was easy to get ahead of yourself out there, and then found ourselves with a pretty good gap and uh, got buried. Lost a lot of energy. Uh, lost about a minute and a matter of two miles, and uh, gave up the lead and tried everything we could, but it, it was just uh, just a little too little, too late. So part of it. Yeah, so I got a, honestly, I've been getting really good starts and um, just got up front and just rode, kind of rode my race and me and Liam hooked up and just kind of rode to the front and fought some really good guys and I think that helped a lot, catch some X1 guys and um, had some good poles and yeah, we just kind of linked up and had a really good race together, good good battle all race and just uh, made a last last minute pass right at the end, which is pretty gnarly and um yeah, it was a, it was a good day. Can we get a photo of one more time? Thanks, bud. Now, make a little noise one more time. Your overall podium here from the Hoosier GNCC. All right, guys, you got to make a little noise. Who's trying to get sprayed with some champagne? People cheering. Make a little noise. Your XC2 podium.